tree right here is called Royal Polonia, sometimes called Princess Tree. I'm sure it's got some other ones. Those are two that I have heard it called Royal Polonia and Princess Tree. And this is naturalized. <laughs> naturalized. This is Asian. In fact, it's a bit of a, uh, it, it's becoming invasive. You it's not, along the highway a lot. That's exactly right. It's not as bad as some things. Not, so it's not a, it doesn't make a horrible pest of itself, but it's, it's definitely invasive. Now, this was cut. See the big stump? See how big the stump was? That's, that stump grew in like 10 years. Okay? They grow really fast. They cut that two years ago. Uh, and what you see regrowing here is just two years. So I mem this is like the third cutting that I've seen. Um, they, the, the last time in three years, it was to the height of the building. Okay, it was 30 feet. So, that, so that's, that's how they grow from a, a sprout. And these giant leaves, these are sprout leaves, okay? They're not normal. So let's talk about identifying it. Well, it does have a big leaf. Uh, but it's not going to be that. Don't count on that. Okay, they'll they'll be about like that. On a, in a couple years from now, this will produce tree leaves like that. Uh, it is opposite. Okay, now don't don't try to fit this in to the uh, to the mad cap horse. Just leave that alone. Okay, if you if you want to try to fit Scarufa loraceae in the mad cap horse, that's the family name. Have good, go ahead. <laughs> but just leave madcap horse. Then just know, oh, this is also opposite. Okay, there's a few other things. Uh, the twig has lots of lenisols. Sometimes people think, oh, catalpa. Like, well, what's, what's the one unique thing on catalpa? World. What world? That means what? Three at each node. This is opposite. That's, you're not, that's the only thing you got to remember on catalpa. It's world. And you won't put it for this. These are oftentimes the twig. That was purposely left there as a teaching aid. Okay. The twigs are often hollow, or they're hollow. They're hollow along long parts. Like I, I cannot see through here, so it gets plugged up with stuff, but it's the pith is largely hollow. No real obvious buds. They're, they're little bumps there above the leaf scar, but they're not, you know, I'm not going to say they're big pointy buds or something. No, they don't do that. The spring is the one time they look pretty. The leaves, uh, the, the flowers come out before the leaves. And they're long, about two inch long, purple trumpet shaped flowers in pretty big clumps. So the whole top of the tree turns purple. And the, you'll see them driving around. They're often on the edges of highways in, in sunlight. Invasive, uh, not, a, <coughs> not a good ornamental. It's sometimes sold as lavender tree, purple lavender tree. And every, I always tell people the same thing, don't plant it. The leaves fall off with no, they just fall off green. Green or frozen rot, like that. They don't have any color. They just basically stay on until they get frozen, and then they just all fall like with this rot brown color. Uh, and then they produce a fruit, uh, those flowers and clumps, they produce a large, like a cluster of grapes, but they're not a grape, they're a, they're a capsule in a grape-like cluster, big bunch. And each one of those contains like a thousand seeds. You know, so one tree produces millions of seeds which blow around. Inside the capsule is like almost like dust in there that is blowing the wind. That's how it gets around.